Right, so we now move on to item number six, which is confirmation of the minutes. So we, they're in there to just to agree that they're true and accurate. Is there any comment about their accuracy? Nope, so I'll take them as uh, true and accurate. So can I have a mover, please? Moved by Dale, seconded by Brian. All those in favor, raise your hand, please. I'll take, I'll take that as a, a yes from everyone. Um, and that's carried, thank you. So now we move on to the reports and <clears throat> We move on to item 7.1, which is an update on the use of community grant funding to the Wairapa Community Networks, Glenda. So, um, Glenda, would you like to speak to the report, please? Um, Kia ora, everybody. So, we have uh, the community grants round met in July last year, and we issued our community grants, regional and local. So, one of the um, suggestions from the Community Grants Committee was that we had three groups per year come to a full council meeting and present. Um, and Danny from Wairapa Community Networks was picked as one of the people. So Danny is here online to just give a five minute brief on what the Wairapa Community Networks is up to. Oh, cure it. Danny, yep, the floor is yours. Tēnā uh, tātou katoa. <coughs> Um, thank you for having me, everybody. Mind my voice, I've got COVID, um, but that's okay. Uh, so just a quick rundown of what we're doing. From July 2021, <coughs> we had 87 individuals and 76 organisations um, that attended our meet, uh, the Carterton meeting specifically. That's over the last three meetings that we've had for Carterton. Um, we've got a year-to-date average of newsletters that have successfully been delivered of 308. We've got 606 members on Facebook in our group and 350 of those are active. So our active members are the ones that post information, share information, comment on posts or like posts or react to them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, with our change of focus this year, uh, we have, instead of, as well as having the wider community network meetings, we've looked to create focus groups. Um, and we've had a really successful uh, rangatahi focus group created uh, that focuses on uh, what youth are doing in Carterton. Um, and Carterton's really taking the lead on that across all of the districts. <clears throat> so we've had, that was created at the end of last year. And uh, we've had three hui so far. Our most recent one was just on the 23rd of March, which was this week. <coughs> um, and across all three hui, we've had 18 individuals and 16 organizations represented. Um, and that's just in Carterton. We've just had a new um, focus group start up which uh, has a focus on our kaumato and kuia, so our elderly um, population. Um, and that has been really successful. We just met yesterday for the first time. And I can't remember off the top of my head how many people were there because I was full of COVID. Um, and so, uh, but that was really well attended. I think roughly 15 or 16 um, <clears throat> individuals with potentially 15 um, organisations there, so that was really good. And so they're due to meet quarterly. Our rangatahi um, group is due to meet probably once or twice a term, maybe, depending on the needs. And the aim of the focus group, uh, any focus groups, is to, one, to make connections, <clears throat> uh, so to find out what groups are doing and where they're headed, to make sure that we're not um, reinventing the wheel and not uh, reduplicating services and also to um, identify needs so identify any emerging issues or challenges that we're having there's been quite a few that have shown up since COVID um, and then how we're working together to see if we can work together to um, try and fix those those barriers or challenges <coughs> um, the other thing that we're doing is looking at upgrading our IT. So my computer is really, really old and um, I 
didn't realize how old it was until I first started and the IT man told me that it's a bits and pieces computer that they don't even make bits anymore for it. Um, so I'm just working with our IT um, people at the moment to upgrade um, my computer. So that's great. Um, yeah, that's me. Is there any questions? <coughs> Pure, Danny, thank you very much. Um, I've got to go around um, councillors now. Um, so I'll start with you, Dale. Any questions? No, thank you. Jill? Uh, no real questions, but just to say I'm a member of that group and it's particularly effective and really use worthwhile attending those meetings that you put on. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Rebecca? Yeah, no questions. Just um, well done and thanks for coming to um, share with us what you've been doing. Hope you feel better soon. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Brian? Uh, no question. Thank you. Steve? I don't have any questions either, Greg. I just want to congratulate the group on your successes so far. It's fantastic. Thank you. Great. Thank you. And Robin? Yeah. Um, really impressive statistics of, of what the group's achieving you know keep up the mahi it's awesome just the chat you mentioned the challenges that the group's been facing with covid i'm hoping that they're not insurmountable and that they, you can work through them yeah thank you robin yep they yeah. are that most of them are connection ones so just making sure that everybody is aware of all the services Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And I just echo everyone else's comments, really. Um, it's all about connecting people and, and working together. Um, and you're doing that. So thank you. And thank you for being one of the three um, reciprocants who, who came and presented. So keep up the mahi and um, thank you very much. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you.